Welcome back to my channel everyone. So in today's video what I'm going to be doing is sharing with you five must-have mods and accessories for the Mark IV Skoda Octavia VRS. Now if you're new to my channel please do subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and what we'll do is get on and fit the first mod. By the way if you haven't seen already I've got a whole playlist on this car so please feel free to click back and watch those videos. Right, so number one is an absolute must have and that is a pair of paddle shift extensions in bright red. I did however buy a pair in black as well but these are very stylish and in my opinion who doesn't want to look and feel like an F1 driver in a Skoda? So essentially all they do is stick on the back of your paddle shifters like so. They come with two double sided sticky pads which just stick on, no screw in, no permanent fixture fixing. All you literally do is stick them on. And I'm doing this one-handed, so if I can do it one-handed whilst recording, I'm sure you guys can do that. Take a look at that. I think that's a huge upgrade. It really does complement the red stitching on the steering wheel and also on the dash. And if you're wondering, here's what they look like in black. So I'll leave a link in the description for those and let's get on to the second must-have. Now this is a big must have from Skoda themselves, a Dr. Zach Multimedi Media Holder. <laughs> right, I can't read checks, so I'm just having a laugh, but this is a multimedia holder. Essentially, it is a glorified phone and coin holder. I am putting this in my car because I'm gonna be honest with you. You see these lovely little clips here? I lost one, I pushed it in with my finger. I was messing about like you do, um, getting distracted, and it's gone around the back. I ended up trying to take all these side panels off of the car, lost a screwdriver, and in the end I thought, it's not coming back to life. So I got this, that just goes in there like that. And look at that, slots in lovely. You can stick the old dog and bone in there. And I'm even gonna demonstrate what it looks like with two pounds in there. Don't leave them on show though, because you know what it's like. They may well get stolen. But that is a really good feature, I think, because my phone, I seem to put it here, but it's still a little bit too big for there. So now I can just drop it there and carry on about my day. That is a must have peeps. Now the next must have is some dental floss and a Morphe Richards kettle because in this packet down here, take a look, we've got an all black VRS badge for the grill. I honestly think this is the most exciting part for me. Look at the colours on it, it just looks stunning. Now these are really hard to find, but luckily I managed to get the correct one. The last one I ordered was the wrong type, so this will go straight on and replace the badge. Let's go outside and take the original one off. Now there's nothing wrong with the chrome and red badge, however I just want a nice blacked out one. So I think what we're going to do is pour some boiling water over the top here and then use the dental floss to remove the badge. Get the dental floss and literally, that feels solid that. Oh, that is on there pretty tight, you know. It's partly making me think, is this actually stuck on? I think they've used like a really solid glue on this. There we go. <laughs> Let's just give it a clean. So you can see they like either plastic welded it or glued it. So to fit this new badge, I'm gonna use some super glue. I've got some industrial grade. I'm just gonna put it in the channels on where the old one was and then stick it back. My super glue flew out, <laughs> but I'm sure we're gonna be all right. So I'm just gonna literally line this up. Right, so finally the black VRS badge is on. Learn from my mistake, if you're going to super glue, make sure you cover it, but also put a small amount on each channel. My super glue had dried up, so I had to cut the end of the tube, which made it really fat and it just flew out. So be very careful. Um, it's come out really well and it also matches the black Skoda badge, which I put on in one of my previous videos. If you want to see the video to that, go back through my playlist. But yeah, that is 
looking really good now. I much prefer it to the chrome and red one. But yeah, that is a must have, especially if you have got an all black Skoda like my one. Looks great. Now, the fourth must have, which I think is very important, and it's more of an accessory than a modification, and that is this boot liner. Now, as you can tell, mine is very rough, but that's the whole point of it. Um, I put this in here uh, only a couple of weeks after I bought the car because I carry tools and equipment, and I didn't want to scuff underneath. Um, so, literally, this will just protect your whole boot of your car. And yeah, it's just a must have, and it's very cheap as well for what it is. I'll put a link in the description for one of these, but definitely a must have for the Skoda Octavia. Now the fifth and final must have, which in my opinion is gonna be probably the best. Uh, I like to keep the best till last. And that is a pair of these puddle lights. Now, instead of the car showing the Skoda badge when you open the doors, these are gonna show the VRS logo like this right here i kind of like that idea there's nothing wrong with the skoda badge but i think why not as it's a vrs a pair of these will look really good nice and easy to fit as well you get a couple of lights like that they simply just plug straight on so let's jump outside the car get under the door and swap these over so the puddle lights on these are right here all we need to do is get this flathead to screw driver and literally pop it out right here is a little tab like so and then there should be a little plug on the end just got to pop that off so there's the oem one and then on the new pair we should have left and a right so it's got the r on there plug that one in oh and as you can see the vrs logo is on but we'll wait till night time to get a better shot so let's just slot this back in bang and that will be ready for later on. Nice and easy mod that one. Literally took what, 30 seconds? All right, you all ready for the VRS puddle light? Oi, oi, look at that. Don't that look fantastic? Do you think anyone's gonna know it's a VRS? Look at the size of it, <laughs> it's gigantic. And for the passenger side as well. Take a look at that. So, just to recap, we fitted some red paddle shift extensions. We've also fitted a lovely cup holder. We then did the badge, which not sure went quite to plan. <laughs> then we've got the fourth must have the boot liner and the fifth is the vrs puddle lights which in my opinion look amazing i cannot wait to pull up in little car park at night time to show them off <laughs> Um, let me know what you guys think of the mods and accessories that I've fitted in today's video. I'll leave all the links to the items that I used in the description of this vid. So you can obviously go and buy yourself some if you wish. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's vid. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and see you all again soon for the next one. <laughs> Bye for now.